Whoa! Hello, and welcome to another beginning Drupal tutorial. My name is Steve from WeaverMultimedia.com, and uh, today we're going to be talking about themes. This is our constantly evolving website we got here. Um, we want to make it look a little better, though, um, and themes is one of the cool things that Drupal offers that you can just switch your site around on a dime and create a whole new look for it. So I've actually um, loaded up a theme. I'm going to go to site building themes right now. Just hit that. That'll bring us to the main themes page. And you can see some of these uh, already ship with Drupal like Bloomerine, Chameleon, Garland, blah 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 blah. And Garland is actually the default one that is enabled right now. But we want to enable and default waffles which is what I've added and I like the name because I like waffles so what I've actually done to get that there is um, I'm going to reconnect to my web server. It's put it into my web server under the themes directory, which is tutorial themes for me. It might be under your root, so it'd be just themes for you. And as you can see, I uploaded just the folder from uh, my themes on my computer. Just drag that over there. So easy peasy. So I've enabled that, and it's the default right now. And I'm going to hit save configuration here to see a transformation of our website here which actually look pretty cool I hope alright look at it you got your cool little links here now we have themed out a uh, sidebar which looks pretty cool and we also have a cool logo and our site name but I kinda wanna make some changes I don't want this logo I want my own logo and uh, I want my own fave icon which is what this is right here and it's also what is bookmarked in your web browsers and things like that so what do we do okay I'm gonna go to site building themes configure waffles and we're gonna do that really quick you can also toggle off your logo site name mission statement blah 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 what I have you even the primary links uh, but since I don't want to use the default logo I'm gonna search for my own which is this one right here and if you know Photoshop and stuff you can make your own logo or have someone do it for you um, just make sure it fits up there in the uh, heading. You can upload it and see what it looks like, then upload it again. That's kind of what I do. I'm also going to add this icon it's in the .ico format, so you might have to look around to see how to do that. Um, but this one's mine right here. I'm going to load that in there. And then there's also theme-specific settings, which we will probably get into later because they might cause us a little bit of problems. But like you can add, a, you can display a breadcrumb if you want, which is like where you are on the website and mission statements type stuff this is a pretty in-depth theme that we're dealing with but all I want to do is upload my logo and icon and there we did it we got this logo in there and also if I move this down I'll show you that my uh, bookmark icon is in here as well my fave icon as they're called so everything looks good in that realm but themes can also do uh, a lot more. Uh, I'm just going to go to this contact page, and I see that I still have this posted Tuesday by admin. I really don't need that on there. I don't want it on there. It makes it look kind of dumb. So what I want to do is go back to uh, site building themes, and I'm going to configure that uh, on my global settings, actually. As you can see, there's this display post information on. And I don't want that for the web form module. So I'm going to click that off and then hit Save Configuration. See if that works. Let's go back to Contact Us. And it did not work. Hmm. So it might be in those theme-specific settings. So I'm going to go back to the theme, Configure Waffles. And then we're going to go back down here and look to see if there's anything we can do. So under our settings, we have um, different general things we can do with search results, which makes it kind of cool for this specific theme. But the one I want is right here, author and date. Now, we display authors and author's username and date on each one by default, but now there's this box I can use custom settings for each content type of the default above. So I find my web form right here, and I'm going to de-click that for the date and author's username. This should work. Let's see. Save configuration. So I'll go back to contact us and it is gone. So 
we did it. So that's just a couple things that themes can do. And you know what? Another thing I want to do is just get rid of this uh, title. I really don't need that there anymore. I want this to be my main title, I guess. So I'm going to go back to themes, configure waffles. And I'm going to just get rid of that site name. Let's see what happens. And it's gone. So really easy. You can do a lot of different things just by using the themes um, configuration uh, tool here. But you, there are also other ways you can kind of hack and theme yourself um, a website. I'm going to actually go into Google Chrome, which gives you a good way of looking throughout your site and finding out what the different elements are. Say if I wanted to change this icon right here, I wanted to find maybe the CSS file that's handling that. This is kind of advanced, so, you know, just to give you a kind of a delve into it type of thing. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to hit inspect element. So this gives us an, kind of an element view of where, where that icon is. We see it's a block icon, but I can look up here and see that it is in tutorial themes waffles icons.css. So that's kind of what's handling that icon right there. So what I can do is go into my FTP client here and I see it's already on tutorials. Go into my themes, uh, and it's it was waffles. And if I look for the file, I'll probably find it icons.css. So if I wanted to edit the file that handles that, that would be the one right there. As you can see, there's also other things in, in the themes, like the icons here. You can switch them around and do what you want, upload new ones. So that's just a little bit about how to kind of hack into your theme and um, theme it as you see fit. but back here in Firefox. Um, just wanted to give you a beginner's look at themes. Uh, we can go into it more advanced later in another tutorial. But as for now, my name is Steve from WeaverMultimedia.com. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for my next tutorial.